What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's video is about the long range meta. I'm not gonna waste any time, we're just gonna jump straight into it. So I've got the Metagen default season 4.5 meta calculation. So basically what this is, is I just used Metagen. If you don't know what that is, it's like an AI optimization tool that I built for truegamedata.com that will look at all the data in the game, every single stat, every attachment, every gun that is for this type of weapon. So long range main weapon is the one I have selected. Um, and you can just press run and you can do custom weightings for different stats if you want to uh, customize it for how you like to play versus just the default meta. If you leave the sliders alone, you get the default meta, which is basically what I believe is the meta because it was trained off of how I build weapons. Um, but if you're someone that, a good example here, so Cronin Squall you can see is number one and the number one build that came up has the TY LR8 muzzle. So that is the horizontal recoil muzzle. So that reduces horizontal recoil the most. Uh, I personally believe that that is the most important thing, but also vertical recoil is very important. And it's not like it just looks at horizontal recoil because I think it's the most important. It weights everything together, builds the gun out, and then checks the stats and says, okay, this is the score the gun's going to get. But if you're someone who maybe plays on controller, so I am I play both, but uh, I go back and forth between mouse and key and controller. But on mouse and key, horizontal recoil for me is, is much more important than recoil rate. I'm much better at controlling a large amount of recoil on mouse and key than I am on controller. So if I was gonna build myself controller loadouts for this using Metagen, I would just go to the builder page, I would do custom weightings, and I would probably weight uh, vertical recoil. We got the vertical recoil slider here. I would just weight vertical recoil is a little more important. Uh, and then I would rerun it, and that would provide me with uh, a new meta, a new set of guns, a new set of ranks, based on vertical recoil being harder for me to control. So that's the power of Metagen. You can get your own custom metas. Um, but today we're just gonna go over what the default meta is, for how I tuned it. So, Cronin's Call, Squall comes out number one, as you can see, um, the build's there on the right. So we got the FTAC Ripper, the HR 6.8 barrel, 50 round drum, and TY LR8. This is very much a like high recoil meta. They've really nerfed the, the, the TTK, the damage per second of the slower to kill, easy to use weapons. So in, the, in that category, the ISO Hemlock is probably the easiest to use still. Razorback's very easy to use. Cast off 545. STB 556, TAC 56, Lockring 56 are all kind of those low recoil options. Um, but you can see that none of those come close to being the top of what Metagen thinks is the best. And that's because their time to kill and damage per second has just been nerfed so much that they're really, they're not competitive anymore as far as time to kill. But if you're someone that really struggles to control recoil, again, you can use Metagen, just slide those recoil sliders uh, quite a bit to being more important. And it'll it'll bring the hemlock much closer to the top. So as far as low recoil options go, I think the hemlock is back in the top spot. The M13 is very close. Um, HCR 56 is probably it's it's an LMG, so it's a little heavier. So that is also a low low recoil option. RPK is pretty low recoil. But the top three are all high recoil options. So Cronin Squall, Tac V, and Rap H are all three um, quite a bit of recoil. So yeah, in the crimson spot, the number two spot, we have the Tac V. We got the FTAC Ripper, Tempest GH50, 7.62 high velocity, and 50 round drum. And you can see that the TAC V, it shows Metagen looked at all the stats, looked at the recoil patterns, and decided that Tempest GH50 was the muzzle that uh, the Tempest GH50 is the one that reduces vertical recoil a ton. And that's because the TAC V's recoil pattern is very straight up. There's not a lot of directional change in it, it just has a lot of straight vertical recoil, and the GH50 will reduce that the most. Unlike the Cronin Squall, which goes up for the first like 10 shots and then has a pretty sharp turn to the left. But like I said, it looks at all that stuff and it tries to, um, it, it's built off of how I trained it. So those weightings for how much, how, how important the different recoil pattern uh, things are, like how far it goes to the left, how far, how far it goes to the right, all of that is included in how it thinks. So that's why the TAC-V came out with the GH50, even though the Squall came out with the TY LR8. Third place, we have the Rap H. Rap H is a higher, so Cronin and TAC-V both have pretty slow fire rates. Um, the, the Rap H has a very fast fire rate and also a really good time to kill. So that's kind of the difference there. And again, it chooses the Tempest GH-50, FTAC Ripper, High Velocity, and the Lockman TCG-10 rear grip. So we'll go look at the tunings for these as well. Like I said, RPK and HCR are pretty, uh, pretty low recoil options. And those are probably going to be the best choices for you as a, a lower recoil choice. So for the HCR, or sorry, for the RPK, we'll do that one first. They tie with exactly the same score of, of 9.59. We get the Demo X2 grip, high velocity, TY LR8, and the FTAC Ripper 56. HCR 56, FTAC Ripper, X10 ported 290 muzzle. 
high velocity and the 100 round mag, which is interesting. You might think that that doesn't make a lot of sense. This is for quads, so damage per mag is very important. And if you look at the stats, let's just go look at the stats of this real quick. So I search the HCR. The 100 round mag for the HCR uh, magazine has penalties to movement speed, which is really not very important for um, for you know a long range gun. You don't really care how fast you're moving. Obviously, it is nice to move faster, and Metagen still looks at that and still includes that in its calculations. But the fact that it only adds 21 milliseconds to get an extra 40 bullets um, is a pretty big positive for for quads. So that's why Metagen thinks that. Uh, the 100 round mag is a good option but again if you don't agree with that all you have to do is go back to the builder turn on custom weightings and lower the importance of uh, your damage per mag right here so if you just lower the importance of damage per mag a little bit you're going to see the other builds come out but even if you don't do that you can just open this up and see where the first build that comes in without the 100 round mag so with the 100 round mag i got 9.59 score out of 10 um, but if you look down here, the third one, 9.55, it's like basically just as good um, as far as Metagen is concerned. And this is the first one that doesn't have the 100 round max. So we got the FTAC Ripper, the X10 Porta 290, the Stip 40 Grip, and the high velocity ammunition. The Saken MG38 is always a good option. I mean, it's been good since it came out, basically. It, it's very like bouncy and the screen rotates a lot when you shoot, but the actual recoil is very, very low. So it's it's probably a good gun for controller players. In my opinion, recoil is harder to control. Uh, on the controller so sock and mg38 is pretty good for that um, but yeah the screen shakes a lot there's a lot of visual stuff going on with it which is why it scores a little bit lower than like the rpk and the hcr even though it has you know comparable ttk or maybe even a little bit better ttk it's also heavier slower um, but the recommended build from default meta metagen is the tylr8 muzzle so again that's the horizontal recoil muzzle the bruin warrior lmg underbarrel the FSS Olay laser and then 762 high velocity. So it's a pretty solid gun as well. But I just personally think that most people are going to prefer like the Hemlock or the RPK or the HCR as a low recoil option. So looking at the Hemlock, this is the AR that has the lowest recoil that kind of ranks the most here. So M4 is pretty good and it's also an AR, but it has a lot more recoil than the Hemlock. So for the low recoil option, I think the Hemlock's the way to go. You got the FTAC Ripper, Komodo Heavy, Fielder T50, and 45 round mag. Komodo Heavy, I believe, is again the horizontal recoil muzzle, and that's just based on how Metagen is trained. All those muzzles that have significant recoil reduction are excellent at whatever you want them to be. Like, whichever one fits how you control recoil is the one to use. So, even if Metagen says Komodo Heavy is the best, if you're someone that really struggles with vertical recoil, even on something like a hemlock, then you should probably swap that for maybe like a, you know, the sock and tread or something like that, that has a lot more vertical recoil. And again, you can, you can tweak those, those weightings in the builder page. If you want to make Metagen calculate for how you play, that's the whole reason I built this is I didn't want people to just have to be told what to use, but I also want it to be really simple. So I don't want you to have to go like, this is for people that just want loadouts and don't want to dig through all the stats and the attachments and, and, you know, try to figure it out themselves. There are people that love doing that, like me. I mean, that's why I built this website, because I love doing that. Um, but I wanted to build Metagen for the, the other kind of people that just like to be given loadouts. Um, so basically, what this, the power of this is that you can tweak these values once, and then you can save them to your profile and come back later. So as soon as the data gets updated to the next patch, so like right after I updated this to Season 4.5, like I did a couple of days ago, I could just import my weightings from the previous season, press run, and I've got a list of the 20 best loadouts for every single gun that fits that category for the season. So it's like, it just instantaneously gives you the best. It's slightly more work than someone just feeding you a loadout, but you literally just have to press a button and it'll give it to you. So that was the whole reason I built this. Right now it only has four different options. So it only has aggressive close range automatic weapons and long range automatic weapons, both for trios and quads. Um, I'm finally getting caught up on everything. We've added Battle Bit, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a it's like a Battlefield style game. It's actually better than a lot of the Battlefield games that we've gotten recently, but with like Roblox graphics, which turns a lot of people off. But if you liked Battlefield games, I would recommend that you try that game because it's a ton of fun. So we've added that to TGD, so I haven't gotten to the point where I've been able to add more things to Metagen. But that is like number one priority for me is is you know, adding single shot long range, adding snipers, adding sniper support, solos, duos. I want to add all that to Metagen. It just, it takes a ton of time for me to actually train this thing. Uh, but I just wanted to mention that. I wanted to let you guys know that I am still going to work on this, still going to build this out more. 
Uh, but I've just been delayed by working on Battlebit and getting season 4.5 data updated, things like that. All right, I'm just going to quickly flash through these tunings. I'm not even going to talk about them. So muzzle tunings here. Ripper tunings here. This is for the Cronin Squall. We're going to go through all the top guns that I mentioned in the top builds. Barrel tunings. And then Metagen leaves the optic slot open, so you can pick your favorite optic. That's very like very much a per personal preference thing. I'd say the aim op is pretty much the meta still. Um, it just feels like it reduces the visual recoil somewhat on these guns. Tuning wise, again, close versus far. I've talked about a million times in all my videos. It's personal preference. Close is going to make it have a little bit better sight picture, closer to your face, but it's also going to feel like there's more visual recoil because the gun is closer to your face. So the amount of shaking just feels like it's more. So that's personal preference. You can do whatever you want there. Uh, flinch resistance for a long range gun, I think, is very important. So we're going to tune towards flinch resistance, even though it doesn't do very much. All right, TAC V, we got the Tempest GH50. Here are the tunings. Recoil stabilization, recoil control. F TAC Ripper, recoil sta stabilization. And then uh, this one's weird because aiming we would normally go to aiming idle stability, but it appears to do very, very little for this. So we're actually going to go towards aimed walking speed. High velocity ammunition. We've got recoil steadiness. I chose that instead of bullet velocity because. Attack V already has good bullet velocity as a base weapon, so um, getting better recoil is more important than, you know, tuning more towards bullet velocity, especially since this gun has a lot of recoil. Then again, recoil smoothness on the vertical. And for the aim op, almost all the way towards flinch resistance, and then close versus far, personal preference. All right, on to the Wrap H tunings for the Tempest GH50, recoil stabilization, recoil control. The f -Tac Ripper, recoil stabilization, aim walking speed. Again, same thing here. Aim, aiming at idle, idle stability is what we would normally use, but it just seems to do almost nothing uh, on the f -Tac Ripper. So we're turning towards aimed walking speed just because that has a big impact on the stats. High velocity ammunition, recoil smoothness, and bullet velocity. And then the Lockman TCG-10 rear grip. Uh, the reason that Medigen thinks this attachment is good for this gun is just because it has a lot of recoil rate. So it's it's got a lot of recoil to control. Um, if the TAC V feels like it has too much recoil for you, I would try this exact build where you use the rear grip that helps with recoil control as well. Um, but back to the tunings, we got recoil steadiness and aiming idle stability. This one actually seems to do a lot for aiming idle stability. And then optic, we got 0.87 towards flinch resistance and close versus VAR's personal preference. All right, onto the RPK. This is one of the best low recoil options for sure. And again, these muzzles are all personal preference. They're all great. All these, these recoil control ones. So... The RPK after the first like 10 or 15 shots nowadays has a big leftward turn and kind of wiggles back and forth as it goes up after that. So that's why Metagen thought the TYLR8 is really important just because of how much uh, horizontal deviation you get towards, you know, after the first few shots. The first few shots are still super accurate, but after that it starts to, to wiggle a little bit. So tunings for that, recoil stabilization, recoil control. FTEC Ripper underbarrel, recoil stabilization. Same reason as before, aim walking speed. High velocity. Recoil smoothness, bullet velocity. This one, the RPK got nerfed as far as bullet velocity, so it's our it's base bullet velocity got nerfed down to like AR values. So we do want to tune for bullet velocity, see if we can get a little bit more from that. Demo X2 rear grip. This is again for recoil. They just they added recoil to it. It has a lot more horizontal than it used to. So we got recoil steadiness, aiming idle stability. And then for the optic, we go flinch resistance again. So optimal point looks like about like right there. And then close versus far is personal preference. On the HCR-56, this is another low recoil option. It's still not super, super low recoil, but it is pretty low recoil. I'm going to build the one without the 100-round mag. I just think most people aren't going to want to use that. I do think it's a good option. Don't get me wrong. I don't think Metagen is incorrect to rank it as high as it did. Um, but I just think most people are just going to use the 60-round mag. So we've swapped that 100-round mag for extra recoil control with that STIP-40 grip. Tunings here, we got recoil stabilization, recoil control on the muzzle. FTAC Ripper, we've got recoil stabilization, aiming idle stability. That one actually seems to do something on this gun. High velocity ammunition, uh, recoil smoothness, and recoil steadiness. Rear grip for the STIP 40 grip, we have recoil steadiness and aiming idle stability. And then optic, personal preference, which optic you use. Aim op tends to be mostly the meta one right now. So we'll go flinch resistance as always for the long range gun. So right in there, and then close versus far is personal preference. And last up, this is the last one I'm gonna do. We've got the ISO Hemlock. This thing's gonna be by far like the lowest, easiest to control 
of all the ones I've covered so far. Uh, it's even Metagen has even decided that high velocity is not as important as the recoil. So we've got Fielder T50 barrel for bold velocity. So we'll start with that. Recoil steadiness, damage range. Moto heavy. This is the muzzle, recoil stabilization, recoil control. FTAC ripper. Um, we've got this one's not tuned yet for some reason. So we'll just tune it real quick so you guys can see how I do it. So right in there looks like the optimal point. Basically just trying to maximize what's inside towards this, the stat that we want. So aiming idle stability in the past, it just does nothing for the accuracy for some reason. So we'll just do aim walking speed like I've been doing for the other weapons. It literally just doesn't seem to change the aiming idle stability. So we'll go all the way to the left on aim walking speed. Rear grip. So this is the Saken ZX grip. Uh, recoil steadiness on the vertical and then aiming idle stability on the horizontal. And then flinch resistance for the optic and close versus far is personal preference. All right, everybody, a lot of really great loadouts in there. I think low recoil options, you're going to want to look at the RPK, HCR, and Hemlock that I showed. Um, high, high recoil options, obviously Cronin Squall is the absolute meta according to Metagen, so try that out for sure. And swap out that muzzle for vertical recoil muzzles if it seems like there's too much recoil uh, vertically for you. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you guys want to help support, the best way to support is just to go subscribe to True Game, True Game Data. You'll get access to Metagen so you can build your custom meta. You'll get access to all the other premium tools that we have on TGD. And even if you don't want to use those things, you just watch my YouTube videos. The absolute best way to support is to subscribe to TGD. I think I'm probably going to start releasing all of my videos two days earlier for premium subscribers on TGD. And also there'll be no ads in those videos. So that's going to be a new perk that comes with subscribing to premium and obviously those videos will still come out on on youtube so you'll still be able to see them but uh the reason i'm going to do that is just because i did all the math the other day and a single subscription on tgd is worth more than a thousand views on a video so if that incentivizes 10 people to come be premium members you know that's worth 10,000 views on a video per month so i mean it's it's just tough to uh really just make a living through youtube videos compared to um, some or other. That's why so many people do Patreon on YouTube. You know, they, they release their videos early on Patreon. So I'm just going to do the same thing. But instead of just getting the videos, you're also going to get all the premium features on TGD. So I'll announce that before I start doing it. It's probably going to be pretty soon, but we have to build out the page for it and everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll continue to do my best to build the best tools I can for you. And I'll see you in the next video.